Hey crew, Mark Hatmaker here. Let's talk about some fun stuff with the uh, uh, glass work, bottle work. Um, Oh, by the way, I should say, because I always say this, uh, we do old school boxing, old school wrestling, old school, uh, old school frontier combat. Uh, uh, you know, historically accurate and viciously verified. Today I've got assisting me, I've got uh, Chris Headhunter Osborne right there. I think, oh, look at that. He's got already a flipper on for it right there. Um, uh, the, uh, what we're going to talk about in almost any bar or saloon in the old days, we're stealing a tactic from old school uh, brothel caretakers, uh, which was basically a bouncer in the days of yore. And this is also in a day when you were less litigious society. You could do whatever you want. <laughs> you say, hey, you need to leave my establishment. You need to leave it now. Okay? And this is how it's done. Uh, these brothels or saloons or what have you, your biker bar, uh, your local Applebee's are going to be places that are full of glassware. And uh, one of these to make make this historically accurate, uh, he, he and I polished it off down to here just a few minutes ago because we wanted to make sure it felt right. Quick announcement, I've got some brutal fight ending moves. They're pretty ugly, but you're going to want to know these. It's yours for free from the link in the description below. Okay, back to our video. And it feels good right now. Um, there will be bottles around. So when there's a bottle around, if you're going to use a bottle, let's make sure that we are using it properly. It is not going to be the old school thing that we see in movies, reach over, grab this off of the bar top, off the bar back, off the shelf, and go smash, and then hold the jagged piece right there and go, eh, you ready for some of this? Well, no. Why? Because we're not sure how this is going to fragment. We, we may just hit it and be, you know, sitting there with a screw top cap in our hand like that. Or we may hit it and just realize I've just cut myself to shreds. No go. Or we may bounce it and go, nothing has happened right here. This is a no go. Since the glass is unpredictable, uh, let's use it and uh, treat it like it is. A wonderful weapon, a wonderful bludgeoning weapon, but it's an unpredictable one at that. So when or if you must use it, Let's use it as the old timers recommend it. So when we lay our hand on that, we pick it up, we are going to bludgeon with it. I'm going to set this out of the way because there's a little bit left. We don't want to waste it and we'll use it post shoot. I'm going to let just for a moment, this uh, little mock Bowie knife stand in for the bottle. So I've reached over, uh, the handle of the fake Bowie knife stands in for the bottle. So whenever he gives me his fake head right here, we know I actually want his ear yeah. is the shot, fake head right here. It's just not me doing this right here. Smacking them with it. That's no go. Here's how, how many arrows are in this right now. He holds this up and I go, bam! That's uh, one, two, uh, three, and I just did the fourth error right here. What are those errors I just made? Well, one, if this might shatter, I held on to it. So my job whenever I hit something, as soon as it makes impact, he holds it up, I let it go. I hit him hard with it, but I let myself blow by with it. So if it does shatter, it does not shatter into my hand. The next thing I do whenever I hit with it, pretend it's in my hand, watch the back of my head. I'm turning away from it. Why? Glass may be shattering. Alcohol may be flying. I don't want it in my eyeballs, right? So I got to make sure I'm hitting, I'm turning away. I'm protecting myself. Who cares about him, right? The other thing that's happening is whenever we hit, there's a little bit of a back off with it because there could be fluid here right now. I want to I wanna make sure it's not on the soles of my feet. The other error I don't want to make is once I hit, boom, and until this is done, I and you will not wipe our faces. If you feel something in your face, it could be sweat, could be blood, could be alcohol, could be glass. Until the confrontation is done, bam, and you can get to a mirror or you can turn to my buddy Am I clear? Mm -hmm. You do not <laughs> wipe your face because you just might be going like this and grinding glass into your eyes, under your skin, and that will definitely hamper how you handle the rest of this confrontation. Hey, I hope you learned something from this video. Remember to click on the link in the description to get access to those free evil fight ending video lessons before it's too late. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.